There was an empty spot marked Bartleby Bilby. Ahem. Excuse me, Songbird? What is it, Graham? Could Graham have had anything to do? For both our sakes, I hope not. Who's this contact you mentioned? Bad news, as far as my kudos level is concerned. What do you mean? Graham was always rambling on about this hacker friend of his. Had a daft name. Leet, I think. Are you a collector? What? Toys. You have quite the collection. Oh, yes. The whole set of cuddly kitties. Well, I did have the whole set, at least. Did something happen? Bartleby went missing, that's what. I asked Graham about it and he denied all knowledge. Then... Clumsy. Clumsy? Those bears were my engagement gift. He hid Bartleby just to spite me. Graham had taken Songbird's toy Bilby, but I couldn't figure out what he'd have wanted with it. Wherever he'd gone, Graham clearly didn't want to be tracked. What's a mama bear tracker? What do you think? It tracks her babies. Her babies? The cuddly kiddies. Most toys in Union City are tracker enabled. Lost toys mean screaming babies. Unless you got a tracker. Go ahead, though the screen is broken. Squeeze the left ear to turn it on. Tell me more about Graham. Why do you want to know? I think he might have been involved in something. What do you mean? I came to Union City from the Gap because I was investigating a mysterious... Oh, for Joey's sake, not you too. Blah, blah, conspiracy, blah, blah, giant dog. Graham was the perfect husband until he started getting crazy ideas. Why couldn't he just have an affair like a normal person? Any idea where I could find Leet? Probably somewhere up top, with the other degenerates. If I were you, I'd stay away. Graham was a conspiracy theorist? Always was. But before he went missing, he really changed. He became... secretive. That's not that strange. And he started spending a lot of time in the bathroom. And then he just... disappeared. Go ahead, though the screen is broken. Squeeze the left ear to turn it on. The tracker? Go ahead, though the... Squeeze the left ear to turn it on. That's all for now. Yeah, bye. It looked like Graham had taken Bartleby and didn't want it tracked. I had a hunch that he had taken it to Leet, but had no idea why.
The device was now on, but with the screen broken, I'd need to find another way to get at the data. I wondered why Graham had taken a children's toy. Hello there. I'm Mama Bear. Hi. Mama Bear looks after all the cuddly kitties. Are you looking for one of my children? I need to find Leon. Sorry, child, but that isn't one of my children. Please tell me the name of one of the cuddly kitties. I'm looking for Bartleby Bilby. Don't worry, child. Look at my tummy to find your missing friend. The device was on, but the screen was still blank and broken. The shelf was loaded with books on management, business theory, and military strategy. I didn't think Songbird would appreciate me rummaging through her things. The climate controls looked complicated, except for the big switch marked Windows. Excuse me, please. Plinth was showing the toy's tracking data. All I needed to do was locate the area code E1594, find the tracker, find Leet.
dear me. A terrible situation. Very troubling indeed. Mentor, given your experience, your input here would be greatly appreciated. Orana, isn't it? You strike me as a fine young officer of the Ministry of Well-Being. Would you say that's an accurate description? I'm flattered, sir. Your record is exemplary, I believe. I do my best, sir. I'm sure you do. So please, don't let me down. Fix this mess. Mess? You mean the girl? The whole untidy situation. Yes, sir. At a girl. <laughs> Keep a smile on your face. After all, it's Aspiration Day, isn't it? The happiest day of the year. I'll take care of it, sir. I know you will. By the way, a call to pest control wouldn't go amiss. Of course, sir. Meanwhile, I shall isolate this area until this unfortunate incident has been resolved. Thank you, sir. I appreciate your advice. <laughs> We're all here to learn from each other. Take care now. triggered a total change in the girl's behavior. I needed to find a way to get her down before she fell. The girl looked almost frozen with fear. Hell of a place to get stuck. Are you okay? Raquel Dijon, don't panic. I'm from the Ministry of Wellbeing. How can we help? Nothing to see here, sir. I suggest you go back inside and enjoy some screen-based entertainment. Excuse me. I'd like to make a complaint. Please, both of you. I'm a welfare officer. I know how to deal with this kind of problem. I just need to check the negotiation protocol. Well, thank goodness the Ministry is on this. It's all very distracting. What's your name? Her name is Raquel. Now, would you please? Raquel? Oh, but of course, that makes far more sense. She told me her name was Rat. But it would appear her grot... Rat girl, indeed. Please, gentlemen, now is not the time. Anyone got any ideas? Yes, I do. I have an idea. Go on. Never use a simile when a metaphor suggests itself. What? I'm in the middle of composing an Aspiration Day poem. Wait, is this idea... Well, yes. You asked if anyone had an idea. You were not specific to the context. Anyone got any ideas to help the girl? I'm still searching through this ministry protocol, but to be honest, we've gone rather off script. Keep looking. I'll see if I can find a practical solution around here. How did you get up there? I don't know. Please, I'm frightened. She climbed the outside of the building. Astounding agility, by the way. Most impressive. I don't remember. Bravo, miss. Sit tight. We'll soon have you down. Don't worry, we'll get you down safely. And soon, one hopes.
This particular spot seemed popular with the local birds. The seal had been vandalized. Poor Joey. Graham had put a tracker there. Maybe it was the key to finding his hacker friend, Leet. on doing some painting. The hold all was stained with paint. The cleaning robot was clearly designed to carry heavy water tanks. Commencing spray. Please stand back. Water tank depleted. Commencing refill. The cleaning robot was clearly designed to carry heavy water tanks. I doubted I'd be able to get it to sit still long enough. Water. The cleaning robot was clearly designed to carry heavy water tanks. Commencing spray. Please stand back. Water tank depleted. Raquel! Help! Please! What are you painting? Sir, please, you're not helping. What? I didn't... I don't know! Her work is rather inspired, don't you think? I do believe art may be her calling. Please, both of you, help me! Can you see any way down from there? No! We'll work something out. Hold on. Can you see any way down from there? No! Okay, we'll see what we can do from here. Don't worry, we'll get you down safely. And soon. One hopes. Help! Please! 
Can you see any way down from there? No! And everything's wet now thanks to that robot! Hold on. We'll work something out. Think you can get on the robot when it passes? I... I can try. But... but what if... We'll catch you. You can do it. I rather doubt she can. Can't you try and be more encouraging? You have a reasonably good eye for aesthetics! Thank you? Now, grab on tight. We'll be right underneath you. You'll be fine. Human grip strength is famously reliable. Only in short bursts. Okay, here goes. Use a hand scanner.
Racing Refill. Convincingly built.
Water refill complete. How do you feel, Raquel? Are you okay? I... I don't know. Well, I'm glad that's all sorted. Shall I call a pod for her? I've got it from here, thank you. Raquel, what were you even doing up there? I, I don't know. I, I don't really remember... anything. The girl looked glad to be back on solid ground. Excuse me. Mr. Grundy. Oh, Mr. Grundy. Mr. Grundy? Bravo, Mr. Grundy. Your actions in this situation were sublime, albeit unconventional. The local noise levels have already returned to normal, and the building will soon sparkle again. I'm more concerned about the girl. Is she gonna be okay? Yes, yes, blah, 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 and all that. Officer, wouldn't you say that Mr. Grundy's actions today weren't a kudos boost, hmm? Of course. Thank you for the suggestion. Tarquin, miss. Orana. Orana Newblood. Yeah, like the guy said. Graham Grundy. Mr. Grundy? Does the location E1594 mean anything to you? Well, E1594? That's just an area code based on the old map system. Totally obsolete. That system hasn't been used for years. E1594 was an obsolete code. There had to be a way of finding that location. I'm on the trail of a missing kid called Milo. I think he's somewhere in Union City. That shouldn't be difficult. Any greeter terminal will be able to find him via U-chip. No, that won't help. He was brought here from the Gap. That's not possible. I assure you. Where did you say you worked, Mr. Grundy? That'd be the Ministry of Comfort. I suggest you concentrate on your work, and leave well-being issues to the appropriate ministry. So, do you work here? I'm an officer for the Ministry of Well-being. 
You often have to talk girls off high ledges? My first one. You did a good job. Thanks. Will she be in trouble for the graffiti? Well, no real harm done. The droid will clean us up, eventually. That said, her kudos rating will take a hit. All because she defaced Joey? People loved Joey, and what he did for us. Joey was my friend. We did so much together. Well, he might be gone, but he's not forgotten. You can find out about our savior at the Museum of New History. You mentioned I could find out about Joey in a museum? Yes. The Museum of New History has exhibits about how he transformed the city. I'd recommend it to anyone who wants to learn about him and his legacy. A museum dedicated to Joey? He'd be proud of that for sure. Well, it's not all Joey. They have a special exhibit about the previous administration. Old technology, maps, that sort of thing. My advice, though, is to avoid dwelling on the past. Anyway, taking in some culture is good for you. Find it at the piazza if you get the chance. I guess I should get going. Yeah, well, thanks for your help. I suppose I should thank you, too. No problem. You take care. You too, Mr. Grundy. If you need any well-being support, just ask for me at a greeter terminal. Orana Newblood. Come on, Raquel. Let's get you to the spa. You'll be feeling better in no time. No need to worry, Raquel. You're safe now. Happy faces all round, right? In fact, this calls for a... a celebration. It is Aspiration Day, after all. Oh, goodness. Is it? All day. And you know what would be the best end to a day like this? A trip to the Reflection Spa. I'll pull a string or two, and we'll get you straight to the front of the line. <laughs>